Well, welcome to this Excel tutorial where I show you how to use the new checkbox feature to hide your data in Excel with the click of a button like this. And we can even add password protection to it so that only certain people can view the data. Here we have a big table of data, but it also works well with a small set like this for our email tutorial where we have a little bit of data that sets everything else up like when we click a button and we have an email automatically prepared for these people. Maybe you don't want everyone to view it. We can password protect it. And then only the people who need to be able to change this will be able to see it and change it. Now, let me show you how to do it. And if you want to follow along, make sure to download the file that you see here. It's on teachxl.com. I'll put a link to it below this video and it is completely free. While you're there, check out our Excel courses. We also teach you how to automate Excel make custom dashboards, automatically send out tons of emails to everybody who needs them with reports attached, everything you need to save yourself hours of time and go home early. Now, the first thing we need here is a title that tells you what the checkbox is going to do. Then an empty cell, go to insert, checkbox. And if you don't see this right here, make sure that you update your version of Excel to the latest version and it should be there. Then we have a nice little checkbox. And what it's going to do is in this cell behind the checkbox and put true or false. False if it's unchecked, true if it's checked. So this is kind of a more efficient way to do what we've done in the past with a different type of checkbox in the worksheet. All we have to do now is apply conditional formatting with a custom rule that will check true or false for all of this. So let us select the data that we would like to hide. Then home conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, and then down here, enter the custom formula equals not open parentheses, and then the location of the checkbox in the worksheet. I'm going to use dollar signs as well. So it will not move. It is D O one. Close it up. Then we go to format custom and right here, type three semicolons. Hit OK. OK. And test it out. Perfect. Now you want to password protect it. Very, very simple. Go to review. Protect. Protect sheet. Input a password. OK. Retype the password. OK. There you go. It's protected, unprotected in order to view it. Then you go to review, protect, unprotect, input the correct password. Then you can view it. And for this example over here, it is the exact same steps just for the smaller set of data. And this is actually my favorite use case for it. When we build the full dashboard for the VBA course on teachexcel.com, we have so much interesting stuff going on, but we still need some admin features and you don't want everybody to have access to those admin features. So a nice little checkbox with password protection is perfect for that. Remember, you can download this file from teachexcel.com. There's a link to it below this video and you can get all of our Excel courses there as well. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. And if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, hit the bell icon, subscribe, show us some love that will really help us out. Cheers and have a great day. See you next time.